After going live last week on Facebook at the Canadian Open, a lot of you are asking me how pro-amps work. Well, here is everything you need to know. I am the Weekend Golfer, and this is the Pro-Am. Every Wednesday, the top 52 golfers in the tournament are asked to take part in the Pro-Am. This means big bucks for the event and the charities connected to it. A tee time like this could cost your group up to 20 grand. The Pro is teamed up with three amateurs like you and me for a game of best ball. Let off by their professional, Scott Pinkney! After the pro tees off, we take a long walk to the white tees. I couldn't have been more nervous on that tee deck. Once at the green, everyone gets a clean run at birdie because you can't card worse than par. We also get strokes for our handicap, which means it's not uncommon for the winning team to come in sub 60. The rules say to bring your own caddy, so bring your best friend or someone who will appreciate the experience as much as you do. It's going to be a long day, expect a five or six hour round. To keep pace, always play ready golf and pick up if your score isn't going to count towards the hole. It's important to focus on golf etiquette and keep in mind that this is the last day before the tournament. The pro is likely trying to get in some last minute prep. No matter how many times you've played the course, don't try to give the pro advice on how to play a hole. They play a different game, and likely from a tee deck you've never even seen. There really isn't any other sport where you can play alongside the pros like this. Make sure when you're picking your wardrobe that you don't come dressed like a volunteer. You spend half the day caught up watching the tour players swing. and the other half playing a dream golf course. You get to experience PGA Tour conditions, including some of the fastest, purest greens you'll ever play in your life. Welcome to Inside the Ropes. Being inside the ropes was one of the greatest experiences of my life. Although we are eight shots off the lead, I got one final chance to make a memory. For more information, follow me at The Weekend Golfer 